You know, this is not the first time I've filmed this on the vlog. This is not the first time I've shown this painting. I showed the actual painting, like, a week or more ago. Uh-huh. But then I ended up cutting it out of the vlog when I went to edit it because you weren't done with the painting yet. Mm-hmm. But now, I feel at least semi-confident that you will be done with the painting by the time this vlog comes out that I'm showing it. But I'm only showing this image... And not the full painting, just in case I'm wrong. <laughs> just in the event. But also, like, look at the, the crazy amount of detail. Look at those dots, Mallory. Yeah. An entire world of dots. God. I'm proud of you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Friday. Um, Mal should be done with the painting soon. Uh, she's actually... We were talking about it a little bit tonight, and... It, <sighs> The problem, the problem with this piece is that every thing that she knows about painting is thrown out the window. Not everything, but like, if you want to cover an area with paint, you just go, eh, and that's it. But on this one, because it's dots, everything takes longer. And estimating how long something will take is incredibly difficult or impossible when it's a technique that you've never used before. And it, we've found out over the course of the last several weeks that doing pointillism like this makes everything take a lot longer. Like five times longer. Um, yeah. So Mao is well over 60 hours now, or 65 hours, or something ridiculous on this, this painting. Um, and uh, even though she has so little left to do, she's still looking at it and thinking four or five hours and like the amount that she has to do if she was working on an actual painting would be like almost no time at all <laughs> like an hour at most and probably not even that long but it's just it's just taking forever and um it, she loves it and it's beautiful but uh we're ready for it to be done because i was talking in december about like oh you know this will be this will be done and just everything has taken a so so long and then of course we also had christmas and then we had folks here for new year's so we've we've certainly been delayed on things just in general but uh she's within probably a day now of getting it finished it's been it's been an adventure speaking of adventure we had an adventure this evening because uh we it's it was friday so we streamed and we did Octodad, which is kind of weird because Octodad is is a, a fun indie game, but is now, I, I think, kind of considered an older indie game. There's so many games being developed every single year, and Octodad is several, I'd say even more than several years old now. And it was really fun when it came out, but I played it when it came out. I didn't beat the whole thing. Um, as it turns out, I probably got about halfway through it. It's not a very long game. It's like two hours? maybe so it's kind of short um but i'd only played about an hour of it and wasn't really sure how much there was but how long to beat which is a website we use to kind of get an estimate about how long it'll take to get through a game said that it took about three hours and that ultimately ended up being pretty true the uh the main game took about two hours and then there's some dlc that added another like 30 minutes to it but it was really enjoyable one of the things that we did to make it a little bit more unique and fun is Mal and I played co-op. Um, if you're not familiar with Octodad, it's a game about a totally normal human father who may just possibly be an octopus in a suit. And uh, you control his arms and his legs, like independently. And the humor of the game is in just the physics of it all, where you are trying to walk and act normal People are staring at you and trying to figure out what's wrong with that guy. And uh, it's it's really funny, it's really enjoyable. Um, like I said, it's short and sweet, but one of the cool features is that there's this co-op mode where you can use two different controllers where one person controls you know, the left side of the body and the other person controls the right side of the body, or you can have one person do the arms, one person do the legs, etc. We decided to make it a little more chaotic after chat. <laughs> suggested that we do this, um, we did roulette, where every time you complete an objective, whoever is controlling the limbs, like, swaps at random. 
So it, it was it was pretty wild because you would do something and then all of a sudden you're no longer controlling the legs. Now you have the arms or now you only have one arm. One of the downsides is that the computer was reading the keyboard and mouse, which we weren't using as one of the devices. And, you know, obviously the problem with that is that we weren't using it. So occasionally it would assign the keyboard and mouse to one of the arms and then that arm just didn't work. No one was controlling that arm. We had like one arm. And until we got to another objective where it would roll the dice and maybe the keyboard and mouse wouldn't be involved, we just had to deal with not having one arm. And we actually did pretty well. I think there was only one time, and it was in the DLC, there was only one time where we had to go into the menu and like change that. But we actually just lived with it anytime it came up and it was funny. But um, like all the stuff that we've been doing on Twitch, that will be released onto YouTube at some point in the future. But if you want to watch it now, it's saved permanently archived on Twitch. So you can watch it early if you'd like. But the evening was fun. Uh, the game itself went really well. The only problem is that um, I actually had some, some more of the audio issues. I talked about some of the audio issues I had the other day and I did not expect to run into any because I assumed all of the problems that I had were strictly related to multi-track audio, and we didn't use that tonight. We didn't do that. So the fact that I had, you know, any problems at all was like, are you, are you kidding me? Like, what are you talking about? So um, what that means is that I was gonna have to test things before the next first 20 stream. Now I need to test things like soon, within the next few days. I have to figure out what's going on. And um, the the terrible thing is, with some of the stuff that's happening, it it's hard to tell what it could be, but there's been at least one or maybe two times in the year of me doing this that the solution was simply to trash the like OBS installation and all the OBS like settings and stuff and just reinstall it. And I know that that sounds crazy, but that has actually fixed the problems when I was like, there, there is nothing wrong. I'm looking at the settings, there is nothing wrong here. And I just reinstalled it, had fresh settings, like put input the same settings that I use, because I keep them in a text file to know exactly what I have, just put them back, and then all of a sudden, it's fine again. So it might be a situation like that, where like everything is actually correct, and OBS just pooped itself for some reason, because it is quality software, TM. Um, maybe that's it. I don't know. Either way, uh, within the next few days, I'm going to spend probably an afternoon or something uh, just doing like a like a private stream to Chaz and Jeff. I, I did that a, a few months back when I had a different problem. I just streamed on like a different account to Chaz and Jeff, and we just talked the entire time about like figuring out what was wrong, and we solved the problem. So I'm gonna have to do that soon. It's just. Uh, it's, I think the biggest problem, and uh, this is not a jab at Windows specifically, but on Mac, um, you never run into the system like forcing an update on you. It just doesn't happen. There are updates, and you can update your computer, but they're never forced. On Windows, they are. Like, there's times where it's like, we're shutting down your computer, and like this thing's gotta be installed. And uh, I've had that mess up OBS once or twice too. So I wish, I wish I could get everything to uh, the point where it's working and working fine and then just be like, don't move. No updates, no updates on OBS, no updates on, on Windows. Um, I don't use it to go online and do things anyway, just like stay where you are, just sit. But of course it's, it's not the way it works. Anyway. Sorry for the rant. <laughs> I'll get it figured out soon, but like having stuff happen tonight was a little frustrating. Fortunately, the problems weren't as bad as the other other stream, and people really enjoyed the evening. Um, Octodad is a hoot, and I'm glad I I'm glad I got to play it in co-op with Mao. Although there were definitely a few times I I wanted to strangle her over you know her ability to play the game, and then and and that's what I was gonna say. And then the thing is. It's pot kettle black because I would be watching, she would have control of the legs and I'd be like, oh my God, you got it. You just walk so easy. This is how you do it. And then of course, whenever I'm in control of the legs, I can do no better. 
So all the, frust it, the frustration is because you don't have control. And when you get control, you realize that like the person that was doing it, they, they are, you are just as bad as them. Like the, you don't have any additional ability. <laughs> That's one of the joys of playing that game in, in co-op. Like, you're frustrated, and then you get control, and you're like, oh, this is actually impossible. Yeah. All right. You ready for bed? Yeah, just a second. Okay. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we?